Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today, I have chosen, put together carefully, six of what I consider to be some high-end beauty fails. I have picked three skin products and three hair products that I personally do not think are worth your money. Um, but if you disagree, love to have the dialogue, please let me know below. Now before we begin, let's discuss our parameters here, okay? Um, I buy products a lot, as you know, um, and some of them don't work great, um, or they work just as well, or maybe a little worse than other products that I own. But to me, that is not a fail. That's just maybe not a great product for me. Okay, so my definition for this video of fail is absolute out and out. Do not spend your money on this product, okay? So let's dive into the face products. The first one I wanna talk about, and you really won't be surprised if you're a high-end beauty lover like me, is by La Mer. This is the La Mer Treatment Oil, okay? I'm sorry, the Treatment Serum, what am I saying? This is basically their essence. This is La Mer's essence. Um, I have La Mer products that I love and I swear by. Their tonic is my standard. I use it all the time, the La Mer tonic. Um, and I was using the SK2 essence and ran out. And I decided since I love the La Mer tonic so much, I would try their essence, which is their, um, their treatment lotion. Um, it sucks. First of all, I could never, ever get used to the scent. Uh, you know, La Mer products, a lot of luxury beauty products are highly scented, and I think we all get used to that. Um, you know, it doesn't really bother me with Guerlain. It doesn't usually bother me with La Mer. Uh, even Charlotte Tilbury in the past has had scents with her things as well and her serums, and you get used to them and you put up with them. This I never got used to, always kind of bothered me. And I have this theory, you guys, um, this is not scientific by any means, um, but chime in if you agree. I feel like if your nose doesn't like it, it's kind of like a biological way of saying your entire body doesn't like it. If your nose says, oh well, it went away, it doesn't bother me, uh, and if your nose likes it, it's like an indication that all is good. But when you're, it's on your skin and it's just irritating you and you're just going, God, get this smell off of me, I feel like your skin follows suit. And like I said, that's not scientific by any means, but there's got to be some truth to it, right? Um, I got really sensitized to this. It made my skin red. Um, I don't mean it broke out, but I just mean my skin just stopped looking pretty and I think this was to blame. I felt that my cheeks were rosier and redder and I just, I stopped using it. It was like $95 and look, um, I barely used any of it. It was just time to abandon ship. I don't believe it's a good product. Please tell me if you feel differently. This product, this next product is something that will surprise you because when I first started using it, I loved it more than is humanly possible. And this is the Kate Summerall, Somerville, excuse me, Kate Somerville Retinol um, plus Vitamin C. This is a retinol that also, a light retinol, gentle retinol that also includes vitamin C in it. It is stabilized. The vitamin C does not go bad. It is nothing like that that is my complaint. My complaint about this product is the plateau. And let me explain. When I started using this product within two days, it completely changed my skin and completely changed my life. This product had people I did not know stopping me to ask me what I had done with my skin. It was that glowy. It was that beautiful. I was in love. Three or four weeks after using this, not only did it stop working, it was like I was putting water on my skin. I have never seen a product work so fast and stop so quickly. I'd love to know your thoughts if you have worked with this product. Boy, it was, it couldn't have been any more amazing. It was like a miracle and then it literally just stopped working. I love Kate Somerville products. They're amazing. This retinol plus vitamin C is stabilized. The vitamin C doesn't seem to go bad. Nothing like that. The darn thing just over promises. It's so amazing. It was so amazing that I bought this second one before I'd barely used any of it. And then by the time I was almost finished with the first bottle, it, it had completely stopped working. So I'm stuck with this very expensive, again, I think like $98 for this smaller amount, um, thing of water. Doesn't work. All right, this one will be controversial. I do not like the Augustinus Batter Rich Cream. Here it is. This is like 200 and something dollars. It's on the 300 side of 200. Um, 
It did absolutely nothing except kind of gunk up my pores. So I have, for your reference, normal skin, but I have what I have invented and like to call suggestible skin. And what I mean by suggestible skin is if I over moisturize it, it will go greasy and oily. And if I under moisturize it, it will go dry. It kind of likes to go whichever way, but for the most part, it's normal um, and it can tend to dry. So I thought I would use the rich cream, nothing. I saw no results, nothing, except the pores in this area, which I do have some visible pores in this area, started looking darker. It, it was like it was settling in there. Um, for the expense of this product, for the hype of this product, I do not personally believe it is worth your money. Again, you can tell me if you disagree below. Um, I know that Victoria Beckham did a serum with um, Dr. Butter, and I have that serum. I haven't found it to be good or bad, but need to experiment with it more. I certainly wouldn't call it a fail. Uh, but this extraordinarily expensive product um, in the high 200 range is not worth your money, in my opinion. Let's go to the hair products. Boy, was I excited about this one. I ordered this during the uh, stay-at-home orders. This is the Oribe Glaze uh, for colored hair. What this is supposed to do is replace your conditioner one or two times a week. You put it throughout your hair in the shower, leave it on for a few minutes, rinse it out, and you are supposed to have shiny, glistening hair with protected color. It did not shine, it did not glisten, and within a day or two, it felt like I had poured a vat of Wesson oil on my head, which is what I worried about actually. A lot of these kind of shine and serum -y products for hair um, can just make your hair feel greasy. I do not wash my hair every day. I probably wash it every four days or so, and I had to wash it early. It was yucky, and when it was brand new, uh, it would have some merit to it if when brand new, my hair was shiny and silky, mm, not at all. I noticed nothing until it went greasy. Not worth your money. Um, Oribe makes amazing products. They're pricey. This one I would save my money. And for my last two products, I hate to do this to them, but I have two by IGK. Haven't been a fan of their products. First of all, there is the High Speed Air Dry Spray. No More Blow, it's called. No More Blow Hair, uh, High Speed Air Dry Spray. What this is supposed to do <clears throat> is if you um, are going to air dry your hair, you spray it through, you go about your day and your hair dries beautifully and easily and quickly. I, you know, when I think about it, I fell for the hype. Like, why, why would that be necessary? If you're going to air dry your hair, air dry your hair. Doesn't air dry any better, doesn't air dry any quicker, and then when your hair is dry, you've got one more, like, thing of gunk in it that's just going to gunk up your hair. There's no point to it. It's stupid. Don't waste your money on it. I said it. And my second IGK uh, product is the Antisocial Overnight Bond Building Dry Hair Mask. I'd be willing to give this another go. I tried it twice. I don't like overnight things in my hair. Maybe that's my predisposition to this because I do feel like it kind of like you sleep on it and it can get on your skin and that kind of freaks me out. I did not see any benefit to doing this except again, kind of a gunky feeling. Having an extra product in my hair did not do what it said it would do or make my hair feel any more nourished or richer. Um, and again, like I said, an extra thing of gunk in your hair, just gunking it up. So those for me are three really what I would truly call fails for skin and hair. Um, I would love to have a dialogue. These are truly, obviously, just my opinions. And um, if you have an alternate opinion on any of these products um, or a product that just has been a horrible fail for you that you'd like to discuss below, love to have a dialogue with you about it. It would be nice to hear if some people felt that these products were not a waste of their money. You know, we, we don't have that much money to go around. It's important to spend it the right way. So I wanted to share these products with you guys that just did not work for me. Please give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it, knowing that, of course, it's just an opinion and it's just really for fun and uh, to share what I've wasted my money on. Uh, and please subscribe and like and comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.